Hi Sandra, here's a video of what I figured out with the mystery of the letter I and the number 9. Carrying on looking at these two, I've seen a few more things that you wanted me to make a video so I could show you. So here we go. But I'm going to do a little recap about what we figured out about the letter I and the number 9 first. First of all, the letter I equals the ninth letter in our alphabet. And we knew that was significant because 9 always wants to mirror itself. So when we looked at the letter I, we realized the letter I could be represented as the word I. Then we realized we could mirror it. E, Y, E. There's a perfect mirror. Now 9 was involved in this because the letter I is the ninth letter, so we kept going and we looked at the word 9 and we realized if we took the E off the end, it would spell NIN, which didn't make a lot of sense at first. But then we realized we could put in the word I and it would spell and sound out 9. Then we found the mirror, N-E-Y-E-N. -E -E so again, there's the number 9 always mirroring itself, even in our alphabet we found the mirror. Then, after that, I went on, and this is what I found next. We decided to go ahead and decode our alphabet A to Z, which is 1 to 26. We casted out nines, and it left this pattern of numbers. Then I realized it had something to do with the word 9, again, always wanting to mirror itself, and it did so using our alphabet as well. After we decoded and casted out nines in our alphabet, I looked at these letters and I realized that N was a 5, E was a 5, Y was a 7, E was a 5, and N was a 5. Now we can see the mirror on either side, but where's the 9? Well, here it comes. 5 and 5 is 10, which is 1, plus 7, 5 and 5 is 10, plus 1 equaled 9. So 9 not only mirrored itself in our alphabet numbers, it also mirrored itself with the number 9. Because we decoded our alphabet, we come up with these letters equaling these numbers, adding them up equaled the number 9. Again, she'll never be undone. She's always going to mirror herself, even in our alphabet. She'll do it. But after looking at this, I went a little farther, Sandra, and this is what I see next. This is Marco's pattern, and it's very significant in the way he numbered it. Because 9, sitting at the top, is always doubling on each side of it. Doubling negative, positive, positive, negative. So, he numbered it 1, doubled is 2. 2 doubled is 4. 4 doubled is 8. 8 doubled is 7. 7 doubled is 5. Now let's break that down for you a little bit here, Sandra. 1 doubled is 2, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8. But why is that a 7? Well, 8 doubled is 16. 6 and 1 equals 7. So 7 doubled is 14, 1 and 4 equals 5. Now 5 doubled, 5 and 5 is 10, which casting out 9s equals the 1. So there those numbers are, casting out nines, and that's a very specific pattern that Marco came up with. That if you follow it, it just keeps going on and getting deeper and deeper and deeper. But I took it back to our word number nine, and this is what I found. I looked at the word nine that was mirroring itself and also equaled the number nine, and then I realized there was a certain amount of intersects in the word. And when I numbered them, well, not surprising, they numbered out what Roden put down for his numbers on his symbol. I started here and I went, the first number is 1 doubled is 2, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8, 8 doubled is 7, 7 doubled is 5, then we had the 3 and the 6 in the middle. Now, here's the mirror. We have 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, and 4. 
So there is the same numbers that Marco uses in his pattern. And when we look, if we overlap, they're all going to equal 9, a perfect mirror. 8 and 1 is 9. 1 and 8 is 9. 7 and 2 is 9. 7 and 2 is 9. 4 and 5 is 9. 5 and 4 is 9. So I found that really remarkable that this word would intersect in just the right amount of numbers that would come out and equal Marco's numbers in his pattern. There's the 3 and there's the 6 and of course there's a 9 overseeing it all. So there you go Sandra, that was pretty cool, eh? Well you take care honey, you have a great day and thanks for watching. And anybody else that watched, thank you too for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you. Thank you.